Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Let's come in and I'll show you with the what I'm talking about with the starting with these chevrons. Let's turn this green. I like the green, but I don't I want to turn it to a different green. Let's try this green. Yeah, that's easier to see. Okay, so we want to fill these in. Each block is going to have two lines, two threads running through it. One running this way and one running this way. One going up and one coming down. So they'll be crisscrossing it in both directions twice. And I'm going, let me show you how that works. Let's take red. So you start here. You go all the way across from one green line to the next green line. Green lines mean turn and go back. So I'm turning and I'm going back. Hit the green line, you stop. And so this is what you have so far. You have the first two lines. Now you need to go somewhere. So you're going to turn the corner and cross over this green, green line to green line. Turn. Once you hit the green line, you turn and come back. And now you have the first box filled. And you just keep moving along to the next box. And, and then the next box. And now, again, you're going to go to you hit a green line, wherever that is. Turn come back. Now you're at, there is no box here. So you have to go around the corner. But see, this box is already filled. So what you're going to do is you just, you just click in that little space you made and go on to the next box that isn't. Go across, come back. Next box is infinity, so we finish it. And now at this point, all the boxes technically are filled. But you usually want to end where you started. So to do that, you're going to click through all of these. It basically locks them and takes you back to where you started, which is right here. And that's one. Now you, I would do the same with all of these other chevrons and I'll let you do that if you're interested. I'm not going to do it here. I've shown you how, I've shown you how it works. Now we mark these blue ones because these are special areas and they're going to be a little bit tricky to do. Not, not too bad, but you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to start here. I'm going to start outside the block so I know where I started because I can always fix that later and go from green line to green line. Turn, come back. Go to the next one. Green line to green line. Turn, come back. All right, can't do these boxes. This is the next green line. So I'm going here and you go straight down to the next green line, wherever that is, and come back. Now you have to go around the corner. And again, you go green line. Whoops, there's the blue line. You're going to go green line to green line unless you hit a blue. You can't cross through the blue blocks. So you have to stop here. Um, and since I'm on this side of the block, I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to cut the corner of this and come back to the next, to the green line. Then I'm going to come this way. Can't go across the blue block, so you have to go around it. Green. Cro Can't cross it. So whenever you're going to turn, whenever you hit the blue, you have to turn away from it in one direction or the other. Is 
There's another blue block. Alright, and go to the green line. And again, there's the blue. Cut it. Now, so we go straight from wherever we are. Down, hit the blue block. So we turn and come back. Go up to the green. Now you think, well, what about these areas over here? We'll get to them. Every There's a chance of going through each block in four different directions because there's a top, four different sides to each block. So if we don't hit it now, we'll hit it maybe coming on this side. It, they they get they'll get they'll get filled. And then this way. And cut the corner and then go out. You always go straight back regardless. And and that's why I put the blue lines and why I put the green lines. That's just those are the only markings I need to know where to where to start, where to st where to turn. Okay, all the way down till I hit a green line. All the way back till I hit the blue line. All right, so now this is where I am. Where am I going to go? Well, I'm going to cut the corner here and come down here. Now this is blue block and I can I can either turn and go out this way or I can turn and go back up here. And I think I'm going to turn and go back up. Here. And I can't cross that line, so I'm going to go here. Would it have made any difference down there if I had gone the other direction instead of this way? No, because I would have hit it. I would have come back to this sooner or later, just as I would have, as I'll come back to that other one. All right, now, right here, enter. This is blue block, this is blue, this is blue. So I can't go into any of those. So what I'm going to do is turn the corner here and come straight down until I hit another blue block which is here and come back straight back up and then that's done so I'll have to just go through the edges here down to here now where do I need to go um, this is blue, so I can't go through here. I have to come to here. And back up to here and back out. 
See, that's where I entered. Now I'm going back out the same way and back to the green line. And so now I will do this. And I'm coming straight in and I hit the blue line here and so I'm going to have to turn and I'll cross um, I would like to go up here but at this I can't do that I mean if I cut this corner here I'm just going to I'm just going to hit it and come back out. So I say I'll have more chances to get these. come all the way up here and all the way down and all the way up and all the way down The outside areas, I think you can get the idea of, it's these inside areas that are a little bit, can be a little bit confusing. Wait a minute, there's something wrong here. The green line isn't on the, where it's supposed to be. Okay, and
All right. This <coughs> this point, I'm going to make a turn. See, I can I can turn and come all the way back out, but I'm going to turn and come in here, and because I can cut the corner of this blue, come over to here and come back. Cut this corner here and come up here. Now there's a blue, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to zigzag through these blue sections here in the middle on this side. These lines are not as straight as I would wish, but all right. So now where are you going to go? Well, you're going to make the corner here and come back down this way, all the way down to this blue one and all the way back. And then you're going to come down the edges here. Now, where are you going to go? Well, we're going to come through here and back and then come up here. And back down. Come on. And come back the other side. And this is where I came in, and this is where I'm coming back out again, all the way to the bottom. And then I'll just come around the corner here and
and zigzag up this side. Enter. Okay, I'm hitting the blue here. I'm 
Okay, and I'm going to go this way. Actually, I'm not going to go that way. Um, I'm going to go this way. I'm at the end, so I'm going to have to come through all of these back down to here. And I'm going to come down through these. And cut the corner off of that. It's kind of, it's not very neat. Okay. Come down through all of these. Where did I come in? Right there is where I want to go out. Well, Sooner or later, I'll end up back there. Okay. Now I could go around all of these. Yes, I need to do that. I can see that. Okay. Cut the corner off the here. I would have gotten these from the other side, but it just turns out that I'm getting them from this side. As I say, everything is there's four ways you could go at every every single block. where I started and come all the way back up here and I'm out again
and I'm back to where I started. And everything's filled in. Now I just have to do the chevrons, the other chevrons the same way. This is the only hard part. Again, when you go in, because of these lakes, you will end up coming in and doing one whole side of one thing and going around and doing all kinds of things. But when you, you ultimately get back to where you entered there and go back and do the other side to leave. Um, unlike these where you do go in and come back, go in and come back, here you will come in, do a lot of stuff, and then finally leave. Um, that's the only tricky part about those. But if you just follow the direction, you know, to keep going straight, cut a corner and go straight, you will ultimately find your way back. When you run out of stuff, you just go around the edge. So at this point, I can delete the blue ones. I can delete the green ones that are the outlines. Oh, well, I have to do these other outlines first. Um, let me do those. Uh, I don't. So digitize an open line and uh, let me escape. And I could go all the way back around to here, but I'm not going to. And oh, wait, there should be a third one. There it is. So in, over, back. If you're left-handed, you might want to go left to right if you're right-handed. I mean, if you're left-handed, you might want to go right to left if you're left-handed. I'm right-handed, I go, I go counterclockwise, which is left to right. And I could copy and paste those. This one, escape, stop, select that one, this one, this one. Oh, there's more to it than that. Okay, come on. Come on, I want to do, let's do a polygon select. Because I didn't do that in one piece, I did it in two pieces and it's not letting me grab the second piece. All right, copy, paste, mirror. Okay. Out. Let's group that. 
So I go and select this, 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 this. Let's group that. So I want that group and this group. I think this is selected. All right. Copy, paste, mirror, and bring it to the bottom. I see it there. Uh, a little more. That's better. Okay. So now I can delete that one, delete this one, delete this one, delete this one. Wait a minute. Okay, those are grouped. Out. <sighs> out, 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 out. Okay, now this one, this one, this one. Ungroup, 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 delete that, delete that, delete that, ungroup, delete that. All right, so now I just have the design. That should be the top. Should be this part up here. Oh, that's nothing. It's connected to this somehow. Out. And so, so there's the design. And that's how you do it. Now, next thing is to sew it off. And later, after I've sewn it the first time, I think because I know this is really light and these are just regular sewing threads, they're not they're not the thicker threads that you use with net lace. I will probably sew it off with, uh, I wanna say, it's not chiffon, organza behind it um, and then I can always do it over and, and make these lines all these single run lines stem stitch lines which would be thicker and um, or even a triple run line which would go over each line three times and make them thicker uh, The motif background, though, I would have probably have to do manually. But we'll try it first this way. <laughs> 